He gets a hold of it. There goes a long drive. It's a way out there and gone. She's a brand new ball game, all tied up. It's that time of the year when nothing seems to matter more than the national pastime, baseball. You know, every great ball player lives in a glass house for the world to see, for the sports announcers to talk about. And another one going right down to the wire. For the press to write about. For the kids in the country to worship. <laughs> yes, a diamond is a boy's best friend. There's hardly a kid in the country who wouldn't like to be Mickey Mantle. But one of the game's heroes almost didn't make it. You see, like any other great institution, baseball has had its growing pains. There was a time some years ago when it was rocked by, believe it or not, a scandal. Let's turn back the pages to the era of knot holes and shirt sleeves, when pitchers threw in curves, out curves, and spit balls. Our story tonight concerns Slim Conway, a former major leaguer who'd been barred from organized baseball. And Bill Riley, a young up-and-coming player. It also concerns one of baseball's most flamboyant managers, Gabby LaSalle. The only sports commentator and columnist I've ever heard of who really didn't like the game, Rex Short. And the hearing in which Bill Riley and the sport we all love was itself on trial. This is the corridor outside the office where the highly publicized hearing is about to take place. Hey, Gabby, right, come on, Gabby. Gabby, what is it? Hey, watch the statement, Gabby. Well, you know what's going to happen. Gabby, watch your eyes. Short TV show and his column in the newspaper this morning, huh? Look, I never watched that bum TV show again. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Hey, Gabby, what's going to happen? Gabby, watch your eyes. Short TV show and his column in the newspaper this morning, huh? Look, I never watched that bum TV show and never read his rotten column. And furthermore, I invoked the Fifth Amendment. No comment. Did you do it or didn't you? I can't make any statements until after the hearing. Okay, then. What about Slim Conway? Yeah, what about Conway? Listen, you can write or think anything you want about me, but lay off Slim Conway. The world's been on his back long enough. Really? Think Conway really bribed the kid? I don't know. Uh, Conway took a bribe himself years ago when he was playing. Once a crook, always a crook. Yeah, but he paid plenty for that over the years. When a man robs a bank, does a stretch in the can? Well, they just say that he's paid his debt to society. I guess Conway should have robbed a bank. <laughs> right, if I open a window, something stinks around here. You started this circus short. Sit up close where you can enjoy it. chance to be heard. Mr. Riley, is this your wife? Oh, yes, sir. I didn't think you'd mind. No objection. Be seated, please. This is a copy of the papers that carried Mr. Short's column accusing Mr. Riley. Any of you haven't read them or you want to refresh your memory? No, thanks. You don't believe it. I don't believe it. Nobody in this room believes it. And you don't believe it yourself, Short. I call them the way I see them, Mr. LaSalle. 
Governor, I'd like to say a few words. I brought this kid a free. It's impossible for you to say a few words. Now, sit down and be quiet. This isn't a ball game, you know. And you're not going to sell it by starting one of your famous rhubarbs. It's customary at every hearing to first confront the defendant with the accusation. All right, Mr. Short, you triggered this off. Do we, uh, do we have one of those, what do they call them? Kinescopes, sir. Kinescopes. Do we have a kinescope of Mr. Short's TV show of last night? Yes, sir. All right, let's, let's run it. Final item on tonight's telecast. I regret I have a shocking incident to report. Today, in the first game of America's immortal classic, first baseman Bill Riley failed to field a ground ball he should have handled easily. A run scored, it cost his team the game. You're a liar! Liar! Daddy! Any player can make an honest error. It happens all the time. But I have definite proof that play was not an error and it was not honest. After the game, I personally observed Riley meeting with the infamous Slim Conway outside the stadium, and Conway handed Riley the payoff for booting that play and throwing the game. In my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Riley should be barred from organized baseball just as his pal Conway was years ago. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rex Short signing off. I thank you. I bid you good night. All right, let's hear Riley's side of it. Did you know Slim Conway? Yes, sir, I know him. Did you see him after the game? I talked to him for a few minutes. And that's all you did, Riley, was talk to Conway for a few minutes? Yes, sir. That's the only contact you ever had with him? Well, not exactly, sir. I first met him a few years ago when I was a green kid. I played ball against him in my hometown. Mr. Conway was ending a string with a traveling club. A bunch of real old timers who picking up any game they could get for a couple of bucks. Yes, Bill Riley came from a small town named Bent's Fort. He was the captain and star of his high school team, and they thought they were a pretty hot combination. They'd beaten everything in their part of the state that year, and they felt rather sorry for the busload of has-beens who pulled in to play them that day. Holy moly, look at those guys. Well, now that's a crummy looking outfit if I ever saw one.
lucky one. Hey, look at this. And I wear your glasses, too. Own four eyes. Come on, now. Get those washouts out of there. <laughs> Come on, four eyes. <clears throat> get comfortable, and we'll pitch to you. What is that? Are you superstitious? <laughs> Okay, Checker, let's go, boy. Now you got him. Stay right! Hey, we gave you a little piece of it, didn't we? Okay, okay. Come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's get him now, boy. Let's go. No, no, no. All right, let's get this little leaguer right here now. All right, baby. Now. Fast for a fella your age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, put your held back a little too long. Yeah, it looks pretty good, son. Oh, come on up. That's close. That's close. Wait for that good one. Here he comes. Here he comes now. Hard to be, hard to be, boy. No, 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 no. Could be 60 to nothing. I think these creaky old ball-headed men are just taking pity on our boys. Ah, uh, luck, luck. These guys are making monkeys out of us, Chuck. Yeah, but when will I get my fastball work? When? Come on, Whitey, let's go. Let's go, Whitey. Ready, go ahead, Whitey. Go on, go on, go on, go on, shake him up. Hold him up. Hold him up, shake him up. Come on, gang. Come on. They all shake them up. Right there. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Shake them up, gang. Come on, the old life. Come on, shake it up out there. Give them no kidding. Come on, gang. The old life. Let's take them. Son, how'd you guess it? Well, I've been watching him. He sort of wiggles his glove when he goes. You're out! Oh, no! Always watch the ball, son. Oh, that bone had that Billy Bell for the oldest trick in the book, the hidden ball. Captain Pimper, Captain Pimper. is out there on first. That man is Slim Conway. Yeah, that's Slim Conway. Now yeah, you guys all remember him. That's the bum that 10 years ago took a bribe from Lucky Perone, the racketeer. Yeah, for a few dirty dollars. He almost ruined the game of baseball. <laughs> He had the nerve to tell me how to play baseball. Yeah! Let him have it, boys! Let him have it! Let's go, Billy. You're up. Ten bucks a run, Conway! How about it, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah!
throw had you beat if you hadn't slid and knocked it out of my glove. That isn't why I slid, mister. I know. I know. All right, let's play baseball. Slim Conway played out the game. He never backed up once. Just kept his legs stretched out on that bag, ready to take any spikes that came at him. And he beat them, too. Bad leg, weak eyes, and all. Knock it off, gang. Knock it off. Now, you stay out of this, Billy. Conway, we may not have major league players, but we've got clean players. Hold on, Mayor. I paid four bits to see a baseball game today, and I saw a peak. Oh, yeah? Well, all I saw was a crook with a bag of cheap tricks. They won't let that guy in any decent ballpark in the country. Why should we, huh? You're not up for election till next fall. Save the campaign oratory. Now, Judge. Constable Summers, aren't you on the wrong side? <laughs> All right, disperse. All right, you heard the punch. You heard the punch. Come on, right down there. I sure wish you could give me some tips about playing first. Well, you're all right, son. You're, you're a good hitter. You're going to have to work on your fielding, mostly. And just remember to stay loose at first. Just play it easy. Play waltz after the ball. Don't dig in. Just nice and smooth, sort of gliding steps. I noticed how you did that. Now, don't charge the ball. Let the ball come to you. You won't boot as many that way. And I, I, I notice you, you grab your bat too tight. You just loosen up all the way around. You keep working at it. You'll make the big show. Thank you. Oh, Mr. Conway. Yeah. I'm sure sorry about that spiking. Well, you forget about that, son. Some things never get paid for. Slim, a good take. 48.78. Oh, coffee and hamburgers, huh? Yeah. years, Slim Conway continued to travel around, playing semi-pro ball with the Wanderers and lots of other teams. A lonely man, staying as close as he could to the game he loved. And he followed Bill Riley's career, too. One day in Miami, he stopped at the restaurant owned by his former buddy, Gabby LaSalle. Slim! Good to see you. Long time. Gabby, how are you? You know, according to the rules of organized baseball, I'm not allowed to come into your ballpark, but I guess it's all right if I come into your cafe. We only refuse drunks and umpires. Well, anyhow, <coughs> umpire. New York cut, huh? Gee, I don't know. It takes like a takes like a catcher's mitt. Well, Should have tried the fish chowder. Make it with real fish. Yeah, me. I'd like to talk to you about something. Well, if you're on a short slim, help yourself. Oh, no, 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 like that. Well, late the bike, what can I do for you, Slim? Not a thing, not a thing in the world. I'm going to do something for you. Now, there's a kid by the name of Bill Riley playing for the golf league. He can spark you to a lot of pennants. Hey, what's the angle? Friend of the family or something? No, no. No angle. I played against him once. 
He had the Megans then. He'd been just going great. He's batting 345. The best first baseman I've seen in years. Just as good as Stan or Gill. Stan, Gill. Look, Gabby. Gabby, listen to me. This kid is almost as good as you were. Hey, is that good, huh? Absolutely. Well, maybe we ought to bring him up in the spring, take a little peek at him. Now, remember the name, Bill Riley. Yeah, Gulf Coast, right? Right, right. And, and if you do contact him, you don't mention my name. OK, Slim. I won't mention your name. Say, you run into a lot of good ball players, Slim. Why this kid? Well, he... I don't know, he... Gabby. I got a hunch on the kid, okay? Okay. Oh, hey. On the house, so grunt. Well, it's on the house. I think I'll have some dessert. Can I have a banana split? Well, you heard him. Two bananas. Thank you, Gabby. Oh, let him look. What do we care? We're going to get married. Huh? What did you inherit? An oil well? Oil well? Better. I just got a long-distance phone call from Gabby LaSalle. Who? Oh, just the greatest manager in baseball. You mean they want you? Well, it's not a definite offer. But he did ask the club to let me come up for a tryout in spring training. So pack your bags, honey. We're going on a honeymoon. Oh, Bill. And right at that minute, with perfect timing, the mailman handed Bill Riley a letter. It started out greetings and invited him to spring training in Korea. There was quite a fight going on, but that wasn't what they wanted young Riley for. They made him play baseball. He didn't get any medals, but he made first string on the best team in the Rice Paddy League around Musan. won the game, but it was the final play that he never forgot. I've got it! I've got it! Nice hustle, son. Mr. Conway! Gosh, it's good to see you again. Oh, you're looking good out there, son. How things been going? Well, this was the day that I was <laughs> supposed to get married. Uh-oh. And the month I was supposed to go up for spring training in the big time. Outside of that, and not being able to get into the fight, I 
things couldn't be better. Yeah, I know what you mean. I was all eager to get in the middle of things. I struck out the first time at bat. Oh, you up for a rest? No, I've had it. I'm going home, back to Florida. Oh, well, I'm due to get out in 30 days myself. Why, well, any prospects? Well, Gabby LaSalle called me up for a tryout just before this Korean business came up. Said the offer would still be good when I got out. Well, Gabby's the best manager in the game. He'll put the polish on you. Oh, I know. It's a terrific break. How about yourself? You gonna sign up for the traveling club again? Oh, no, I'm, I, you, you know, you, you really improved since last time I saw you. You, you're gonna, just remember the three S's. Squeeze the trigger, shoot straight, and shut up. Say, spring training camp isn't very far from your place in Florida. Maybe sometime I could come over and you'd show me those. I can't show you anything, son. You're nice and loose out there at first. Everything's smooth and easy. You play more baseball than I ever did. Well, thank you, Mr. Conway. Coming from you, that gives me great confidence. Come on, top soldier. Time to chow down and bunky bunky. Yeah, yeah, just a minute. I said right now. What do you mean going over the hill and hiking all the way over here in the first place? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Conway, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize no, that you No, no, were... I got a piece of shrapnel in my leg. It's that leg with all those spike holes in it. Do you remember? I said chow yeah. down, Marine. Well, I guess you can't argue with second lieutenants or umpires. Well, back to camp carefree. Yeah, let me see the ball, will you? Sure. Can I keep this? Yes, sir. Good luck, Sean. Thanks, and good luck to you, Mr. Conway. At the end of the Korean War, Slim went back to his fishing place in Florida. But he couldn't resist the opening of spring training. You always hit him that high, Riley? Sometimes higher. Well, don't. Well, the center field fence, Mr. LaSalle. I know, I know, but in most major league ballparks, that'd be just an long, easy out. Now, you're not a fighter. Don't uppercut it. Swing around. Meet that ball with a good wood. That's the way you get your distance. All right, lefty. Well? Well, what? Look, I'll do all this talking around here. You just keep swinging. All right, let's go. Where did you pick up that punk? Look, I told you before, Short, we're at work here. This is our business. Now, you can hang around if you like, but I don't want any joying. I don't want any of my players needle a bit. Did you got it? I am at work, too, Mr. LaSalle. Now, you managers love the press to give a build-up to your club and your red-hot young rookies. Now, how do you expect us to find out about these young hopefuls? Extrasensory perception? Okay, okay, Joe College, use big words. Hang around. Ready? Yes, sir. Okay, get five times around the track. How many? Eight. Yes, sir. Hey, kid. What's your name? Riley. Up from the bush? Well, I played in the Gulf Coast League before Korea. Oh, one of those war heroes, huh? No, sir, just another leatherneck. What's your specialty? Speed? Strong arm? Or are you the boy who's going to break Ruth's home run record? No, I'm I'm no slugger. But I did bat 345 in the Gulf Coast League. You should have batted 945 in that league. I saw some pretty good pitching in that league, mister. Now, don't brush off the press, son. First rule of the game. Are you married? Yes, sir. Two weeks ago. A girl from back home. <laughs> 
Oh, you got yourself one of those little barefooted ridge running hillbillies, huh? Right. Come on, ten times. Listen, you. Listen, I go through this with you every year, and I've had it. Now get out and stay out. You really mean that? You really want to commit suicide? Go needle the Yankees or the White Sox for a while. Give every team a chance to hate you. Go out of the park before I turn you out. Hey, mister. Yes? What is it? Say, uh, I know what happens when an important writer like you gets down on a man. Uh, don't slap that young Riley around. Say, don't I know you? No, no, no. You were baiting him pretty bad in there. Now, he's green, edgy. This is tryout. Now, come on, give him a break. Give him a break, okay? Huh? Conway! certainly has clinched the first base job on this man's ball club. A 14-game hitting streak, a 321 average, errorless fielding, and 21 stolen bases. And they say he'll improve with eight. Oh, me. Well, friends, this Bill Riley is just too much. Here it is only mid-season, his first year in the majors, and he leads the league with 84 runs batted in. pitch to Riley. He gets a hold of it. It's gone. First All-Star game, and he had a perfect afternoon. Three for three, a single, a double, a home run, and a walk. And his fielding was flawless. Boy, this youngster did everything today but come out early and sell tickets. Well, sir, besides hitting at a sensational clip in his first year, Bill Riley also proved that today he has a powerful throwing arm and tremendous speed. Boy, I wish I knew what breakfast food he eats. Young rookie Bill Riley, three balls and two strikes. Two out, two on, bottom of the ninth, two runs behind. And everybody here in the ballpark asking the same question. Can the sensational youngster come through in the clutch once more? If he does, his team is in the World Series. They only need this one game, and the pennant is there. And Slim Conway, well, he felt he just had to drive all the way from Florida to be as close to the ballpark as he could get. And we're all set for the opening game of baseball's annual classic. Of course, many eyes will be on Bill Riley, the fabulous kid from Bent's Fort. 
just completing his first year in the majors. Many a player has burned up the league during regular season play only to go completely flat during the series. You've seen it before, and we're wondering right now whether we'll see it again. Scrapbooks aren't worth very much if you're a big gun suddenly turn quiet in the spotlight. Now in the top of the eighth, it's up to Riley again. He struck out twice in his previous trips to the plate. Boy, a home run right now would put his team ahead. In fact, even a base on balls could send Burt to the shower and stir up some action. Swung on and missed, strike one. Riley took a big rip at a curve ball down and away. He might be trying a little too hard. Riley takes a big cut at a curveball, and there's a high fly ball into left center, but it's playable. Davis is there and hauls it in for out number two in the inning. So we're in the last of the night. The American League champs have the winning run on third with two out, and she's still all tied up. So she's come down to this. Another out, and we go into extra inning. The base hit, and the American Leaguers wrap up the first big one. Takes a look over at third into his windup, and here's the pitch. There's a hard ground ball down to first base. Riley comes in and boots the ball. He can't pick it up. The run scores from third, and it's all over. The American League wins the first game of the World Series. Well, tough luck, Billy. Could have happened to anybody. Might even happen to me. Better luck tomorrow, huh? Tough luck, Billy. It's good to see you again. All right. I sure hope you didn't see that ball game today. Well, I got as close as I could. Then I played at every single inning. And how about the one I booted to lose it? Well, now, every ball player do one of those sooner or later. You got that out of your system. Now you're just going to breeze through the rest of the series. I charged the ball. I know, that's what it sounded like. It's one of the first things you warned me about. You just don't get down on yourself. Now, this game of baseball is just half skill. The other half is attitude. Now, you can't go back there and replay that. Don't forget about it. Well, it sure is good to see you again. Come on, let's get in the car. No, no, I better not. Well, you've got to. Well, I'm married now, and my wife's heard a lot about you. Well, I, I'd, I'd like to meet your wife, but maybe some other time. Now, I'll tell you. Why don't you bring her down to Florida next fall? I got a place down there. It's wonderful fishing. Well, we'll be there this winter. Oh, well, we'll find out. Now, look. Look, I got, I got a thing here. Here's the... Rex Short's newspaper column and subsequent telecast led to the hearing that shook the entire world of sports. Well, Mr. Short, do you have anything else to add? Yes. I do indeed. That's it. That's Slim Conway. You can't deny it. This shot shows him handing Riley the payoff envelope. Gentlemen, Rex Short doesn't print a story unless he has the facts. But there was nothing to it. We talked. He gave me a pamphlet about his place in Florida, and we drove away in our cars. Mr. Short, you can't be sure that any money changed hands. What else could it be? Conway's been hanging around Riley all season. Let's see that other slide. Look. There's a shot of Conway I took at spring training camp. It all adds up. You saw the game yesterday. 
You all saw the easy chance that Riley kicked away? That wasn't an easy chance, Short. It was a hot grounder. We got the television kinescope of yesterday's game? Yes, sir. Isn't my word good? No, Mr. Short. We want the facts. Run that play of Riley's. Governor, I'll... I said run it! Takes a look over at third, into his windup, and here's the pitch. There's a hard ground ball down to first base. Riley comes in and boots the ball. He can't pick it up. The run scores from third. I was the official scorer on that game. I said it was a hit. And I still say it was a hit. Right? It was an obvious error. A deliberate boot. Ah! Does anyone else think it could have been handled? Commissioner, I say it was a hit. Gentlemen, I'm calling Slim Conway. Those phones are disconnected. Good to see you, Slim. Grab Hoy. Slim, what's new? Gabby. John Hoy. Mr. Conway, I'm sorry you had to get dragged into this. But at least you can meet my wife finally. Oh, well, Riley, I'm yeah. afraid this is all my fault. Oh, I'm sure no one's at fault. Mr. Conway, we're certainly glad we found you. And we appreciate your volunteer to testify. Under the circumstances, would you mind if we placed you under oath? No, not at all. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Mr. Conway, we just saw a photograph of you and Riley outside the stadium yesterday. Now, I wasn't the commissioner at the time of your trouble, but weren't you banned from ever attending an organized ball game? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, that's right, Mr. Commissioner. I, I just got a hankering to come to the series. I, Maybe some of you will understand why. I, I, I can't explain it exactly. I just, you know, wanted to see the crowd and feel the excitement. And... I understand, Slim. Well, it's a fool thing to do, I suppose. But I didn't go inside the stadium. I sat out in my Jeep out in the parking lot and listened to it on the radio. I heard young Riley come up empty on that last play. I kind of figured maybe he'd need a little pep talk on the way out, so I... You know, he, he made more good plays in that game than most of us could ever do, but I, I just didn't want him to get down on himself, get discouraged. Just why do you show so touching an interest in this particular player, Conway? Well, I... I played against him once, and he found out my name and, you know, all the scandal about me. And boy, he sure did spike me good. Now, it isn't the first time I've ever been spiked, or the worst, but he, he was the first one that ever said he was sorry. And so you just had to stop him and give him a little motherly and comforting advice, eh? Now, look. Now, this boy's a good ball player, and he wants to get better. And he likes the game. Now, there are several of us in this room that like baseball, too. Now, I don't know what you like, Mr. 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 What's your name? Sh short, short. I, I don't know what you, what are you, what are you trying to do? You railroad this boy? Now, listen, as far as I'm concerned, I run a legitimate boat and bait business down in Florida. I take people fishing. I, 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 I remember, I remember writers like you, not very many of them, but a few, uh, sports writers, Commentators are great guys, right? What, what, what's eating you? What's the matter with you? Mr. Conway, I just want to ask you one question. Did you hand Riley any money outside the stadium yesterday? No, sir, I did not. What was it you handed him? Well, I handed him an envelope with a, a pamphlet. Oh, here. A pamphlet inside there. Well. Are the fish really this big down your way? Am I still under oath? <laughs> I'm afraid so. Well, then I admit, no. Uh, not, quite, <laughs> not quite that big. I tricked up that photograph a little. Your know, photographs can be deceiving sometimes, you know. Sometimes you don't see what you think you see. Isn't that right? What's your name? Uh, what are you trying to do? Whitewash this mess without considering all the evidence I brought in? Evidence? What evidence? Second World Series game starts in another hour. Is a kid going to play or yeah, not? That's what I want to know. I see no proof that Riley took any money. And all the evidence is overwhelmingly on his side. 
Mr. Short, I'm going to ask you to publish an apology to Mr. Riley, along with a complete retraction of your ugly story. <laughs> Gentlemen, the phones are open. Uh -oh. City guests, get me the screen. Riley, you can play today and every day your legs give up. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. All right, you heard what the man said. Get your uniform on before I slap a fine on you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Well, thanks for letting me have my say. Just a minute, Slim. Slim, that was a very convincing speech you just made, and I believe you. I don't believe you could bribe one player or ten players on today's game. But what about your team? What about those six men that took a bribe? Yeah, what was it you got, Slim? Five or six thousand? No, no, I... I don't want to stir all that up again. It's, it... But just for your own private information, I never got five cents. You mean you didn't collect? I never accepted Lucky Perone's offer. He came in and he slapped down $5,000 on the table, and I slapped him down a whole flight of stairs and broke his arm. Yeah. See, I remember at the trial, he had his arm in a sling. Conway, why didn't you tell all this way back then? I did tell all this way back then. I got up, I defended myself, I denied it. I'd have nobody believed me. And I was right at the top of Lucky Perone's hate list when he started naming names, so... Then things started getting nasty. I, people didn't take their baseball lightly in those days. You remember, Crab? You say that again. Now, the charge of bribery, that was a real jolt. A real ugly jolt. And there were quite a few innocent ball players on my ball club, but rumors are rumors, so... Well, I never want to see anything like that again. You, you know, that business almost closed out baseball. We might never have heard of Gary DiMaggio Museum. That's why I let the rap stand. I'm glad I did. It's a lousy rap, and I say you ought to be clear. I'm going to do some digging down at the newspaper plant. When I come up with something... If you come up with something, I'll gladly give him a clean bill of health. I'll come up with something, all right. When I do, he's going to be my guest in the press section. I could do better than that, Crab. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm a man of few words, but when I bow my neck, that's it. He's going to sit where he... Slim! <laughs> Slim! Slim, come on! Caesar has spoken. <laughs> well, hi, everybody, and welcome to the seventh game of the World Series. The big one, the final one. There's no tomorrow. This is as far as we go. Seldom in the history of the great classic has there been so much drama, so much tension and excitement. Bill Riley has come back in the last five games to completely vindicate himself. And now we're ready. some years ago. And it looks like it's here to stay. And one of the reasons it's here to stay is that men like Slim Conway feel as strongly as they do about the game. There are a few other reasons, too, like me, like these kids, like all the fans in the stadium. Multiply us by several million and, well, that's baseball. So long. See you at the ballpark. Yeah. 